I, I grew up in a Kojic church. I don't know if you know that it's Church yeah. of God in Christ. Yeah, yeah. So in Kojic church, like they just throw you the mic tight joint. So <laughs> my it was like how my church was set up. Like really, my whole family was the worship team because okay. like pretty much everybody in my family can sing, but my dad and my granddad. Um, <laughs> so. But your granddad was the pastor. My granddad was the pastor. And your dad manages and knows how to get the music right. to the people and all of that. Right, okay. right. So he was, <laughs> so he was, so he was playing the music, like you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. in church, all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but everybody else, like my grandma, my mom, um, even my little sister now, my mm-hmm. uncles, my aunts, all of them sing like blow, like killing it, type. Okay. Um, and so they were the whole worship team, and then I remember. There was this one time my uncle Chet, um, he was singing I Will Bless the Lord by Byron Cage. And uh he he would mess up the words. Like he would get to he would get to the part of where, you know, Byron start really going in and he'll just he'll just like basically start playing around with the song. And, <laughs> and I was seven and I would I would always look up to my uncle because he, he didn't want to tell me like how to write and all that stuff. And so when I was seven, like I was in his car, we was chilling. I just told him, I was like, man, you keep messing up the song. Like, <laughs> you ain't singing the song right. Like, he was like, man, I'm gonna just put you up there next time. Mm-hmm. You know, I just laughed. I'm like, man, ain't tight, gent. Man, next Sunday, sure enough, call me up there. And I was like, oh, so, you know, you just gotta go. Like, you in front of the whole church. Yeah. So. So my granddad was a pastor okay. um, growing up and yeah, we went to his church. So ever since I can remember, we was in church. Um, Cause my, my mom, my mom always been saved. My dad, my dad got saved when I was about two, two, two three, like right by the time I started rapping, my dad like was just getting saved. Um, and so, yeah, so ever since I remember like we was going to church and then my granddad became a pastor. And so, um, so yeah, I, I grew up first rapping in church. And then when I turned seven, I, I grew up in a Kojic church. I don't know if you know that it's Church yeah. of God in Christ. Yeah, yeah. So in Kojic church, like they just throw you the mic tight joint. There was this one time my uncle Chet, um, he was singing, I will bless the Lord by Byron Cage. And uh, he, he would mess up the words. Like he would get to, he would get to the part of where, you know, Byron start really going in and he'll just, he'll just like, basically start playing around with the song. And, <laughs> and I was seven and I would, I would always look up to my uncle cause he, he didn't want to tell me like how to write and all that stuff. And so when I was seven, like I was in his car, we was chilling. I just told him, I was like, man, you keep messing up the song. Like <laughs> you ain't singing the song right. Like he was like, man, I'm gonna just put you up there next time. You know, I just laughed. I'm like, man, ain't tight, gent. Man, next Sunday, sure enough, call me up there. And I was like, oh, so, you know, you just got to go. Like, you in front of the whole church. Yeah. So I started singing. And the whole family was just, like, surprised because I started, like, I was on, like, note. Or and you're actually like, singing. Go. You ain't rapping. You're singing, blowing. No, I'm singing. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm going, I'm going kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. I'm going kind of stupid. Um, so, yeah, I, I started singing. And then after that, they just put me in the worship team. Um, Got indoctrinated yeah. then. <laughs> right. It was like, it was over. Like, okay, you can sing a little bit. Psh, you were there. So, um, so then I just started perfecting that. Like my, my other uncle Kendall, who's the one, he's the one in the family that can really like sing. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know why he don't make music. Um, but when he found out that I could sing, cause he had went to college when he found out I could sing, he was like, Oh yeah, this is what we about to do. Like he started working with me and helping me and stuff like that. I would always be like going to basketball camps, trying to get better for basketball and stuff like that in the summer. Um, but that Pacific summer specific summer, um, my dad started like doing these like tours, like mm-hmm. of where like he would he would re- just reach out to churches and be like, "My son is a Christian rapper, um, and we're doing a tour. Uh, we want to know if we can stop in your city and do it like that type thing." 
So it was like it was like ghetto tours. Like it wasn't like I was setting up. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I was setting up and fans was coming out. It was like okay, we was going to churches. We were sleeping on floors and stuff. Churches. Okay. Man, I got stories about that. Man, God thought. But anyways, so I I did that for the summer, and then when I came back, my freshman year, I was supposed to be freshman on my varsity on varsity. Like, but I came back rusty because I started doing music. And so they was like, man, you on JV. And so when I got on JV, you know what I'm saying? I was doing a thing, but it was like, man, I'm not to just focus on music. Yeah. So. so when did it, when did you actually feel the connection for yourself between right. you and God and, mm-hmm. and really like personally dedicate your life yep. to him? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was 12. Uh, I was about sixth, seventh grade. And <clears throat> I was I was doing music for God, you know what I'm saying? I knew of God, but I didn't have that personal relationship yet. And I remember like just going to school and it was like I didn't do certain stuff because I knew better type thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I grew up in the church, it was like I didn't do this. And so they was like kids would always pick on me because they like, oh, Aaron's the square, like Aaron ain't doing nothing like Aaron, yeah. whatever. And so like I remember getting messed up about that and like talking to my dad. I'm like, man, everybody talk calling me the good kid. Like, da, 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 da. I was like, I'm just doing what y'all told me to do. And that's when my dad just kind of started like breaking down to me everything. And so I really gave my life to Christ in my room. Like it was like after I talked to my dad, like I just started praying to God, like, yo, I really wanna live for you type thing. Um, so it's been a journey. 